Hi everyone, welcome to SK SecOps channel. Today we will be understanding one of the deployment strategy known as Canary. On the right, you are able to see one of the bird named Canary. And let us understand how this Canary bird is related to this particular deployment strategy. Back in the old days, miners used to carry Canaries underground to detect toxic gases. If the Canary got sick, it was a warning that something was wrong. In the similarly, in software application terminology, we release a new version of software to a small subset of users first, then monitor its performance and then gradually roll it out to the rest of the users if no issues were found. This minimizes risk during releases. And so this deployment strategy will be having very low risk because we are releasing the new version to only a few users. It requires very strong monitoring and also the feedback and later we can improve. And exactly when to use this canary deployment strategy, when there are major changes in your critical applications, then it's better to go with the canary deployment strategy. So let us look into the workflow of canary deployment strategy visually on the left side you are able to see one of the developer who is developing an application using any of the programming language the developer once he completes his code he will be pushing it into github which is the central repository once the developer pushes his code to github he will be informed to his team and also to the DevOps team. Now the DevOps engineer will think about which deployment strategy should I use? Is it a blue-green deployment? Is it a rolling update? Or is it a canary? As of now, we are discussing about the canary deployment strategy. Let us think that he is picking up this canary deployment strategy. In the third step, you can see canary means weighted traffic and also you can see there are two servers, server A and server B. Server A is having a Java application with version 1.0 which is running and it is receiving 100% of traffic. But server B, initially there is no application on the top of it. So that's the reason it is receiving 0% traffic. On the server B, the DevOps engineer has deployed another version of Java application which is 2.0 and initially he is setting up the weighted traffic to 10% on the server B. But how exactly the DevOps engineer is setting up the weighted traffic? It is through the load balancer and the load balancer will give features to distribute the traffic between the server A and server B. Once he set up the weighted traffic, then he will be informing to monitoring team to monitor the application logs and its insights. On the right, you can see end users you who are using our application. The end users will send request to the application server but before that the request which is having the DNS will be reached to the DNS server first. Then later the request is forwarded to the load balancer. Now the load balancer will distribute the traffic to the server A and server B but 90% of the traffic it will distribute to the server A, but only the 10% of the traffic is received by server B. Let us consider the load balancer received 100 requests. So the 90 requests are forwarded to the server A and remaining 10 requests are forwarded to the server B. And the both server A and server B will give that response. So in our scenario, the user has requested one request. So most of the time, uh, 
the server which is having more percentile here will be received that request now in this scenario the server a will be giving most of the times the response back to the load balancer now the response from the load balancer is again sent back the response is reached to the end users and here important thing is the monitoring team will keep on monitoring all the application logs the status codes and any errors of application if everything is go good okay then the devops team will decide to increase more percentile to the server b now the devops team has decided to allow more traffic on server b which is having the new version and reduce some percentile on the server a and the monitoring team keeps an eye on the system and they will continuously monitor the system and this process repeats so the traffic distribution is almost equal so 50% of the traffic is received by server a and the 50% of the traffic is received by server b like that we will try to increase further now later we have increased to 75% on server b and 25% on server a and the monitoring team again continue to monitor in this final stage of canary deployment 100% of the traffic is has been shifted from the old version which is version 1.0 to the new version which is 2.0 the canary phase is complete and the load balancer is now routing all the request to the new version during the above stages if the end users faces any issue and the monitoring team finds more fixx status code then the devops team will decide to roll back and shifts 100% of the traffic to the old version this happens mainly during the initial stages that's all for this video thank you so much for watching if you really like this video please subscribe and share with others thank you